American Association of Poison Control Centers, Wikipedia article audio. The American Association of Poison Control Centers is a national voluntary health organization founded in 1958 that represents the nation's 55 poison centers. The OPC supports poison centers in their public health mission to prevent poisonings, provide education, conduct scientific research and treat individuals exposed to poisoning from medications, environmental events, plants, animals, and household products or toxins. The OPC also supports the efforts of poison centers and interested individuals to reduce morbidity and mortality from unintentional poisonings. The OPSI sets standards for poison center operations and certifies specialists in poison information who are available 24 7 to respond to public, health care provider, and emergency medical service personnel requests for assistance. In addition, the OPSI maintains the National Poison Data System, the only poison information and surveillance database in the United States. United States Poison Centers compose a remarkable nationwide medical call system. A single toll-free telephone number immediately connects a caller to a specialist in poison information anywhere in the U.S. at any time, day, or night. A board-certified toxicologist can be reached within a few moments to provide confidential, expert medical advice to people who have been exposed to a poison. This extraordinary system is maintained by the voluntary cooperation of the 55 member organizations of the OPC. Key OPC Activities Poison Centers The 24-hour National Toll-Free Poison Helpline provides immediate poison information and emergency instructions to all callers regardless of health insurance, immigration status, or language preference from any U.S. telephone or cell phone. Calls are answered by physicians, nurses and pharmacists with highly specialized training in poison management. Poison center services are accessible to all populations, including underserved and undocumented groups, those speaking one of 150 languages and those utilizing telecommunication devices for the hearing impaired. More than 70% of all cases received by poison centers can be safely and effectively treated at home, without need for further medical care. Substantial cost savings have been attributed to poison center reductions in unnecessary emergency department care through accurate assessment and triage of poisoning exposures. The public health and cost benefits from poison center pre-hospital management of patients not needing ED visits favorably impacts the self-pay or co-paying general public, the health care institution supporting the costs of indigent care the commercial insurance companies and governmental health care funding agencies. Poison centers assess and manage more than 70% of poison exposures over the phone, eliminating the need for callers to seek further medical care. This reduction in medically unnecessary ED visits decreases hospital overcrowding and minimizes unnecessary ambulance runs freeing critical emergency staff to handle true emergencies more effectively. The OPC owns and manages a large database of information from all poison exposure and information case phone calls to all poison centers across the country. It is the only near real-time, comprehensive poisoning surveillance database in the United States. NPDS holds more than 50 million poison exposure case records, with more than 2 million new records added each year. It is also a robust and modern system holding technical medical information that is searchable in many ways. NPDS contains exposure cases dating back to 1985. Today, information and exposure case data is continually uploaded to NPDS from all the poison centers in near real time. NPDS can
1-800-222-1222. Key Regulatory Agencies That Rely on NPDES Data NPDES data is also frequently used by pharmaceutical manufacturers. Cost Savings for the Healthcare System National Poison Data System Guide Clinical Research on Poisonings, Prompt New Product and Medicine Formulas, Help Provide Evidence for Product Repackaging, Recalls, Bans, Over-the-Counter Status Changes, Product Reformulation, Focus Poison Prevention Education, Direct Training of Future Medical Students, Detect Chemical or Bioterrorism Incidents. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, Food and Drug Administration, Environmental Protection Agency, Drug Enforcement Administration, Consumer Product Safety Commission.